Hello student and welcome back. So here I am going to solve the problems on a beam element using the finite element method. So this is a short question. So this can be used for MCQ in the FAM. So let me read the question. A cross section of the beam as shown in the figure. So this is the cross section of the beam having width and height it is mentioned. The height h of the beam is 4 cm. So the total height of the beam is mentioned with 4 cm. Find the width. So you need to find the width of the beam. If the stiffness matrix of the beam is given, so where the value of k is the stiffness matrix for the beam element in the fem, it is given as 2000 and here 4 into 4 matrix is mentioned ok and some of the given values are the angst modulus that is given as 100 gigapascal so first let me write the value of e as given value that is 100 gigapascal so i will take in 100 giga value is 10 power of 9 where pascal is equal to newton per meter square ok either you can convert into Newton per millimeter square or Newton mid meter square and the length of the beam is given L is equal to 2 meter okay because both the angst modulus and L becomes in a meter now okay that's what I have chosen to take the angst modulus as Newton per meter square if the length if you want to take in millimeter so again you have to convert into Newton per millimeter square that time the length should be in millimeter so it should be 2000 millimeter okay so now both are in meter okay so again here in the stiffness matrix the 2000 value is mentioned so this is the value of e i by l cube as per the equation for the beam element stiffness equation for beam element it will be e i by l cube is the value you will obtain as 2000 so here i will take e i by l cube is equal to 2000 right so now let me check what is the value of i here because you know the angst modulus and the length both are known so we can calculate the moment of inertia i that is moment of inertia so i is equal to 2000 by e so this if you take i here so divided by e into l cube will be here okay so same thing i will form here so 2000 the l cube so l is 2 meter so 2 cube is equal to 8 by angst modulus 100 into 10 power of 9 so it will be 2000 into 8 by 100 into 10 power of 9 so we obtain 1.6 into 10 power of minus 7 ok 1.6 into 10 power of minus 7 the unit it will be meter power of 4 for the moment of inertia ok so now what is the moment of inertia for a, a rectangular because the cross section for the beam element is a rectangular b into h so for moment of inertia for the rectangular cross section that is i is equal to it will be b h cube by 12 as we know for rectangular cross section it will be b h cube by 12 so here we just calculated the i ok so now uh, where we know the value of i that is 1.6 into 10 power of minus 7 is equal to uh, b b is the width you need to find out and the value of h that is mentioned in the quotient that is 4 centimeter so we are all taking the values in terms of meter so you have to convert that 
uh, h as 4 cm to be converted into meter so 4 cm uh, value you have to convert so 4 cm that is, is equal to 0 0.04 meter so now 0 0.04 uh, power of 3 0 0.04 power of 3 then we will get 6.4 into 10 power of minus 5 by 12 okay so now b is equal to 1.6 into 10 power of minus 7 into 12 whole divided by 6.4 into 10 power of minus 5 so we got it should be 10 power of minus 5 once again 1.6 into 10 power of minus 7 into 12 divided by 6.4 into 10 power of minus 5 so 0 0.03 we will obtain so this is in meter okay because we have substituted all the parameters in terms of meter so if you want to again convert because the height it is mentioned in 4 centimeters so again we will calculate the value of b in centimeter only so 0 0.03 that is, is equal to 3 centimeter so width it will be 3 centimeter now so this will be the your answer now thank you